The Swords of Ditto come to me by way of Mr. Hohan. Thank you very much, sir, for your contribution to this Indie for Breakfast episode. This game looks a lot like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Uh, and, and various other Legend of Zelda's, actually. It does have that feel. It very clearly has that in kind of inspiration. The combat is pretty good. The um, amount of, uh, uh, of uh, sidearms, <laughs> of items, usable items you have, uh, are, are, it's pretty good. There's, there's a lot of stuff you could do with the weapons. You can upgrade them, all that stuff. You can upgrade your person with stickers. Stickers actually act as uh, just basically like uh, uh, slot augmentations for your arms, your head, your chest, whatever. Uh, but unfortunately, the game is just not good. Uh, with all this stuff they have, it's like there's a lot of work that goes into that's clearly gone into the game, but it just ends up not being good. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and get in. And let me tell you, before we get started, I thought I was crazy. I was like, why don't I like this game? This should be a shoe-in for me, right? I mean, I've, I've talked to how much about Link to the Past, right? And you'll see here, even with the, the I have actually have a, oh, not this character. I have a, I have a circle attack that was, <laughs> that's, uh, that was an augment that let me do a spinning blade after a charge type thing. Uh, let me go and actually kill a couple of things here and go and talk to you for just a minute here. So, the way that, uh, uh, so after I finish this thing up, I'm like a few hours in. Which is a lot longer than I probably needed to, because I knew I knew an hour and a half ago or something that I was just like, you know what, this game is just not going to work. It is just not good. But I needed to actually keep playing just to see if something was going to happen. And a couple of things did change. And it made me feel like, wow, they just kind of gave this stuff. Like, they had a ton of features on a board. They're like, yeah, we want our game to have all these cool things in it. And they're like, all right, cool, but here's what we got to do. We got to make sure that people don't get to access them all immediately. They have to basically work for it, right? Which is fine. Working for something is not that big of a deal, right? It's the problem is that it's it's really just silly stuff. So as you can see here too, I should point this out while I'm spinning around here, that there is friendly fire amongst the enemies. You have to drag this thing over here and then boop. And then do it again. Actually, there's, there's, these are actually very heavy, big monsters here. I actually just lost my armor and everything. That reverted me back to my regular, my regular person self. Uh, I don't have any of my abilities. I have to wait. There it is. Okay, cool. Got myself back. And so I decided, I was like, you know what, now that I'm done looking at it, let me go and actually take a look at, uh, at the reviews, right? I try to look at reviews before I start because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to taint my opinion of a game going into it. Well, I did went to look at the reviews and the reviews on Steam was like, wow, oh, this game sucks. I mean, it's a mixed bag, of course, but for the, it's, it, but it's literally mixed on Steam. And so I was like, well, let's go read some more reviews. And here's what I pulled up. Kotaku says, the Swords of Ditto, and this is very hard to do while I'm playing. The Swords of Ditto, I'll go back up here, uh, is a wonderful remix of the original Legend of Zelda. And it's, it's, it's not wonderful at all. If you've, if you've played more than 37 minutes of the game, then you, you realize it's not, it's not, there's, there's severe glaring issues with the title. Oh, whoop, get out of the way here. He's got AoE attack. There we go. Experience bar at the bottom there, level four, going on level five. Eurogamer says, Swords of Ditto is a silly, cyclical action RPG that repeatedly gives you three days to save the world. Did you guys notice when I first loaded in the game, I said four days? It shows you that the second you log in. Like, the second you get in, it shows you that. <laughs> so that guy didn't play it. <laughs> or maybe he didn't, he just forgot, okay? There, look, three days. Now it's three days, okay? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm well in a day, okay? Let me see if I can chop this guy up before he gets a hand on me. There we go, chop him up. Perfect, 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 perfect. This eyeball now is exposed. You can go ahead and actually open up this door. This previously was a wall that was blocked. Kill a bunch of things and you know now you could go and bust through it, I suppose. I don't really tell you what it is you have to do. It's kind of it's it's a lot like Legend of Zelda in that respect where uh, you have to kind of figure things out. What is this? Ooh, it's a toy dungeon. I wonder what awesome ga new gadget lies in that. I mean wait. Uh, hey, maybe they'll have one of those poop ballers, you know, the one from those commercials. All right. Oh, and then Venture Beat. The Swords of Ditto. The Swords of Ditto's Zelda-like dungeons keep me coming back. And I just, I'm just like, what? What is happening? And then I see the developer. Are they a publisher? It's Devolver Digital. Everybody loves Devolver Digital. Yes, they've had a ton of great games that they put out. Oh, this guy hit himself. That's pretty awesome. They had a ton of great games they put out. Doesn't mean that every game they put out is great. And I just can't, I can't, I can't help but to just believe that people saw, the, and I don't just mean like, I don't just mean journalists. I mean like everybody. People saw it and, and were like, oh, 
it looks like Legend of Zelda. And then they were like, oh, it's Devolver Digital. Okay, cool. It's got to be good. And they bought into it. <sighs> it just makes me sad. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just time consuming of it. Just, just, you feel, it's a grind, right? It's a grind, but there's progression. When there's progression, it's not really a grind. It's just the way it's supposed to work, right? Go and eat, the, eat this thing here. This is, by the way, is your inventory. I have a kazoo. The kazoo will actually take me to other parts of the map with the magic school bus. Uh, we'll probably use that at least once today. Over here, we have stickers. This is what I was telling you about being able to augment individual slots. I have no stickers right now because every time you die, you res and you do not have stickers. Unless, 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 unless you have unlocked Serendipity, the ghost whale, who will allow you to uh, send some items to the next person uh, in succession. And it's just, it's just, it's it's like, okay, that's, I, I didn't get that the first run, right? I didn't get that, you had to actually unlock that feature. Uh, and it's just, again, we're going to keep going here, but it's just, the game just feels like, like era five. This is my fifth, this is my fifth time trying to do it. And I have become exceedingly inefficient at it, clearly. Anyway, let's get back to it. There's the map right here, by the way. <laughs> so the toy dungeon, I've never been in a toy dungeon. That's new to me. Watch out for that zombie throws up. Messed up. I can actually hit him with the torch here. Let him burn a little bit. Get out of the way. The torch will finish him off. No, whoa! There we go. Let's go and hop in here. So at the top, you see I have coin and I have these gems. The gems on the left, those are the serendipity coins. The celestial coins or something. Uh, you give those to the flying whale and you're able to use it to... You could use her to turn back time. But she'll actually rewind your current world. So if you're like getting pretty far and you're like, oh, you know, what? I got to do a couple more things and then I might be able to actually complete the cycle, which I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, just hit this thing. What is the secret here? Um, she can actually turn back time for you if you need more time. It says level, it says five. Do we have to be level five in order to open it? Probably. That's probably the case. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's go ahead and kill some stuff. The soundtrack is good. The soundtrack is actually this the, the town soundtrack was the the song that you play, plays when you go to town is actually super like it's super trippy it feel like like someone was really high when they wrote that oh this thing this thing is great the mob uh the, the different mobs that they have are also superb hold on let me get this guy out of the way this guy sometimes heals his buddies there we go all right so the secret to and by in superb and and also there's a massive variety of them they all have different unique attacks Ah, like this guy's a flying, the giant battle toad's fist. So we basically want to just stack him with a couple of, uh, some fire there. Oh, gosh, I left the zone. Oh, well, now watch. We go back, and what happens? Everything is reset. Well, this guy's actually still here. Hold on a second. Oof. Dodge out of that. Oh, this area actually, oh, yeah, it did. Okay, there it goes. I was like, wait a minute, did this area not reset? It'd be like the one time. It doesn't. This guy's gonna blow and swoom. There we go. So every 100 years, the Sword of Ditto picks a successor, somebody to wield it, to go and defeat Mormo, Mormon, Mormo, the Mormons, right? No, I'm just kidding. It's like Mormo or something. Uh, and she's in a dungeon, and you can only go and fight her after the fourth day. And the game will basically force you to do it, right? You can't, like, kind of weasel your way out of it. And if you manage to defeat her, then you stop the cycle from, from continuing. All she does is she basically has mom... There's monsters everywhere. The townsfolk don't like it. But they're, like... They've been doing this for hundreds of years. They're just kind of like, whatever. Like, this... I guess... I guess it'd be nice if we had fewer monsters. But whatever, right? Some of them are actually stoked. They're like, oh, man, finally, we have somebody to actually wield a sword, you know? So other ones will tell you to your face, like, wow, I was actually hoping for someone a little bit, you know, bigger and scarier looking. Let's jump in this hole real quick. You just loot down here. Now this map is totally fresh to me, by the way, because like I said, it's it's procedurally generated, so you get a different playthrough every time. Here we go, oven gloves. Hey, look at that! I got a sticker straight up. Sometimes you get a sticker pack, like this. I got a sticker pack. So what do you do with the sticker pack? And then we have an ancient tower. This actually has some. Uh, it's basically some lore here. Uh, some of them are very random, right? This one, yeah, this one looks like it might have some kind of relevant lore, but for the most part, they feel pretty random. Dear Diary, etc. Maybe once I get a few of them, a few more, they'll probably tie into some kind of story. 
outside of just, you know, every 100 years, Ditto shows up and fails, and then, well, oh, Jesus. And then when you fail, you die, and then the sword chooses another one in 100 years, and it's just, you know, and the cycle continues. And that's the part that I really enjoy. I was like, wow, what a neat concept. Like, every 100 years, you come back, and the... You got this since wait. Oh my gosh, I'm locked up. Get, get, get him. Come on, I gotta get him now. There we go. Alright, let's go and grab these. But you come back and like the world has changed, man. Like it's that's so freaking cool. What a what a great concept. It's just so good. It just sucks that, you know, like for example, we got some stickers, right? So let's go take a look at the stickers here. So I got one for my body. So I click on this and I have uh what was it? I was like pack of stickers. You have to yeah, look at it. you have to open this pack before uh, to see what this, what it contains. So you have to actually go and find, and again, like I said, everything is different, so you don't know exactly where it is. You have to go and find the place to go and open the stickers. It's usually in the town, right? But the town layout is gonna be different, so you have to find it there. Now time progresses so long as you are in an area, a combat zone. Uh, may, it might progress in other areas as well, but for the most part, I feel like it's, it's only in combat. Combat zones like right now. This is not a con. This can't be. This shouldn't be a combat zone because he's noticed that there's a time, the time thing at the top, the clock, the time thing, the clock at the top, uh, has ceased to function. And now we're going to click this. It's like a teleporter, I believe. It teleport somewhere. I haven't seen one of these actually since the very first time I played this in the first run. And look at some more loot. Let's see what I get this time. That was weird. I was pretty sure I was on the left. Poison infusion. So this poop-looking thing actually will uh, attach to a weapon, a ranged weapon. Uh, those are your toys. There's this element to any toy. When it refers to a toy, it means any of your, uh, your sidearm style weapons. So, like, you have a bow and arrow, you have a pistol that does, like, basically shoots foam bullets, and you can make it, uh, add poison. Unfortunately, the foam bullet pistol that you start with, uh, doesn't do any damage. And I thought, maybe if I add this particular item, because I found this one before, um, to it, I could add damage to it and make it worth it. You know? And it doesn't do anything. It's just basically, it's a waste. I was really disappointed by that. Oh, look, there's a lot of coins. I run around, get all these coins. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. There's no, like, ranged pickup or anything, which is fine. Which is fine, I guess. Pick this up here. And we have a rock. A piece of dusty crummy that uh, that never seems to degrade. Now, this goes to... This is actually part of a quest. Uh, you give this to a gentleman, who a blacksmith, along with a couple other items, and he'll be able to actually augment your sword just a little bit here. I don't know how much, and I probably never will because I'm not gonna play this game after this. And I highly would, I would highly recommend not touching this game, <laughs> not purchase this game for any of you guys to find out what he, what what it is that that he does to the sword <laughs> or anything else. And the other thing is, I feel like the character moves a little too slow, but like she's kind of chugging along. But man, it's just slow. You could roll. You could try. To, you could you could try to do the 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 Legend of Zelda thing and just be like, just roll. Cause it's faster, right? I don't actually know if it's faster, cause she kind of slows down for like a minute. There's like a bit of brief pause. All right, see, time is going now. Notice the the time thingy <laughs> is missing. Uh, I had a key once upon a time in an old in an old life, but I don't have it anymore, so we're not gonna be able to go there. And you basically just run around and try to figure out what to do with your life uh, to prepare for your final showdown on the fourth day. But I think what we're gonna do, there is a way to speed this up. If I go, if I go to my character's home and go to sleep, then I will uh, unlock, or I will basically move to the uh, the final day. So I'm probably gonna do that just so you guys can see what that looks like here. Oh, here it is, Mormo Palace. So we actually came in the other side. Cool. So this is the palace here, but we can't do anything with it just yet because, like I said, we're we are still. In the expand your character phase. <laughs> Let's see. What does this say? I forgot. I missed what it said, but that's a big. Let's see. Maybe if I kill this thing, and this thing will explode. So I notice that it's blinking, so we don't want to be too close to it when it does. So we're going to zap with that and get out of the way because it explodes instantly, so you can't really hit it with your. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. That's my, my nerf gun there. Oh, there's more over here. Good. So there might still be a chance. This is kind of neat, though. Check this out. Like, fire actually works. Oh, that's a bomb. Just basically just burns away. If you walk through it, it will hurt you. So you gotta be careful with that. Oh, the guys are spawning in. Let's go ahead and light this up. And then whack a couple times. Come on, light it up. 
Uh oh, the rain's starting, so it's not gonna work. Oh, there's a hole here. Probably some loot. And then when I come back up, I'm, I guess all everything's gonna be different. Ah, uh, we found a cave. Oh, okay, here we go. It's a dungeon here. So Albuquerque caves are basically they have a rule, right? Yeah, trial of trials rules are in effect. So today's rule is make a modifier. Overclock toys use more TP. Yeah, the last one I had actually the toys use less TP or no TP would recharge uh, more quickly. So if you look at the uh, the upper left corner, there's a little lightning bolt. If I shoot, well, I don't have anything that uses TP right now because. <laughs> Because I haven't had time to get anything yet. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and kill some mice. Let's go ahead and like this. See what it does. Uh oh, are they? Ah, level five. All right. We're gonna just we'll, we'll try to get something going here, and then we'll leave. No time being. Time is a uh, pause while we're in here. We're just gonna try to zip through this. Oh, the door is closed. Very much closed. This thing's gonna continue to pump these things out. But it explodes when it's done, so. Oh, and there's a spike thing underneath it. Awesome. Ah. Like that. Light him up. Notice the red bar that fills up when you light them. If you hit them directly, it's not as much as. Jesus. It's not as much as if they were to walk some, through something that's burning. Oh, gosh. Oh. We need to clear some of this garbage here. This is annoying. Hate this. <sighs> this is like, this guy is the worst. Like, uh, probably the worst design. Now my torch is, uh, has used up all my TP. Oh gosh, just, just uh, walk right into it. So yeah, my torch has used up all of my TP. Uh, so now it's gotta wait for it to come back. Wait for this thing to come back. Smack it a few times. Get out of the way. Don't hit anything. Good. Okay, that's poison gas. We don't want to do that. This thing, of course, is going to stand out there. Come on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I forgot about the lunge. There you go. Notice how every other mob, mob, every other hit, actually, is dropping those little gems. So you get a, basically anything. So you're going to see. I'm going to die. <laughs> it's going to happen. I don't have any food. Uh, coal. Can't eat that. I got this. Let's refill my... Um, my TP, but that's about it. So, I can always, I can still call the magic school bus from down here if I wanted to, but I kind of want to explore a little bit more. Oh, look at this! Looks like we made it. Oh, and it's a bunch of coins. Oh gosh, how much? Five thirty-eight to. I was five thirty something. Uh, so probably about a hundred coins. Okay. <laughs> it's not a lot. <laughs> uh, level, uh, yeah, a hundred coins. It's not, it's not a lot of money. But thankfully, we use no time in there. So if you actually were trying to hurry up to get through, uh, you wouldn't be wasting any time by doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually see if we can get out of here. We'll use the kazoo. Uh, let's have it take us to home. And we're going to sleep off the rest of this time, just so I can show you what happens when we go into the dungeon. We probably won't get to the actual encounter with the final boss, with the witch. Uh, but at least you'll be able to see what happens whenever you die, because that is also quite annoying. Oh, Jesus. It's going to drop me off right in the middle of this fight. Let's get to our home. Get to the home. Get to our home. Where's our home? Where's our home? Where's our home? Oh, gosh. I forgot where it was. Oh, man. Spawning more dudes. Awesome. Here it is. Woo. Hopefully, I awake rested. Sleep until final day. There we go. Yes, let's face Mormo. See, I said Mormon. I was really close. Really close. All right, final day. Da da. And then poof, she puts her gear on. Now it's time. More and more awaits. So we still have to actually get there. Uh, so this guy's gonna show up. He's gonna tell you, "Hey, it's here, the big day. Woohoo! We just got enough time to stock up on some stuff if you want to." And I'm gonna say, "Nope, it's actually the next plot over." Awesome. So we're just gonna do that. It wants you to go to the to the to the um, the city, the town to get loot, basically handouts, and I'm not about that. Where's the uh, the kazoo bus? Is pretty funny though. I like that. It's a nice touch. I mean, the whole game is it's, it's adorable, right? No time for that. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Um, 
It'd be actually a little faster. Just oh, I can't. I can't actually. I have to walk there. Shit. Really, I can't use my kazoo. There's a sign to the bottom here. Oh, you can't use it. Wow, it actually prevents you from using it. You have to go to town. Oh man. You can't even like kill yourself if you wanted to here. Apparently, <laughs> like I can't even just run to the boss and just commit suicide. I have to actually go through this process. Right, you do, yeah, you do what you need to do here, yeah. So it wants me to basically go through and do all this stuff. Just talk to other people, it's like, oh, it's really great, yeah, great, awesome. And some people will be like, oh, hey, while you're going there, here, take this thing. Remember that, yeah, start over. Uh, you know, hey, while we're here, let's check out Diddle Mart and all these other places. These are all the basic places, like, uh, uh, vendors, you go and buy stuff. What you after? I was like, go buy some bombs, I can buy some food, let's buy some food. Some food, buy, boom, doom. There we go. See? So that 100 coins, that little dungeon I went into, right? Fought all those dudes, did all that stuff, bought me a fucking cheeseburger. I, I just I, I just can't I can't I can't buy into this game man <laughs> I can't, it's just it's it's just ridiculous it really truly is like instead of just awarding me an item or something uh you know it's like instead of giving me stickers it gives me a sticker pack right so I have to go I have to go find the sticker opener dude talk to him and then have it opened let's see I just basically no one wants to give me anything huh damn oh, a bunch of chumps sticker shack here we go this is a pretty critical part of the game, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. Stickers, stickers, buy stickers. Let's see. I don't, I only have, uh, what? What do I have again? Fuck. I forget. But pretty sure I don't have, let's see, health regenerates automatically. Oh, that's pretty slick, actually. Let's go and get that. Bam. Uh, and then I can afford one more thing. Let's see, headpiece, chest piece. I think I already have a chest piece or something. But let's go ahead and just buy it anyways and just see what happens. Let's see. Open sticker packs. I added it. 25% less damage during the day. I don't know if it's day or night when you're inside of the uh, inside of the, the dungeon body. So what do I have here? Uh, increased fire resistance. Let's use this flat armor. There we go. Health regeneration. That's pretty great. All right, so there's a couple other places, a couple other stores, but we're not going to bother with it. They're just various forms of vendors. Oh, a che chocolate bar just popped out of that thing. All right, you going to give me something? Oh, Jesus, don't I got to talk to anybody. Uh, this is the toy, the toy mart. You guys should go in here and buy some stuff. I can't afford anything right now, but I'll show you anyways. Boop. What do you want? Uh, let's see. Let's check out the toys. This is where you go through and just check out the toys. Uh, I can't ever upgrade a toy. Let's just take this this uh, poop stick and put it on here. So choose toy upgrade. This. And again, the last time I did this, it said a little poison marker on it now, upper right corner of the icon. Uh, it didn't do... <laughs> it didn't do squat. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Let's try to roll our way already the whole, all the way there to our doom. Here we go. And then... The gates of Mormo open. Mormo Palace. Okay, we keep going here. I'm zooming through the text because there's an excessive amount of it. Like, well, I, okay. I'm not just an excessive amount of it. It's the re the repetition. He says the same thing every time. I'm kind of tired of hearing this shit. Because technically, you are a different person. You are the you are the you are the fifth person in line to to wield the sword. I guess technically the six. Well, more than that, because there's legends of previous people keeping Mormo at bay. But we are not able to do that, unfortunately. Here he says, this is level nine, the palace, so that's going to be fun. All of his anchors are still active. It's going to be basically, it's going to be a lot of shit here. What he's trying to say. All right, so let's go ahead and get my, uh, hopefully this actually works this time. Maybe it was a bug previously. Oh, oh, Jesus. I came to the top. I didn't know that because I didn't see the stairs circling around. So this is where you get into the like, classic Legend of Zelda type shit. Oh gosh, these guys are level nine. I'm gonna get smoked here. I just after I just kill myself. So these are mirrors of yourself. Incredibly hard to beat. Uh oh, what? Why is this? Oh, nice. The, the light goes away when you're right there. Whoa! I don't actually do doing. Yeah, I am doing damage. Holy crap! Smoking this dude. Look at that. Oh, the poison works. Oh, beautiful. He's actually just standing there. How interesting. I don't actually know what it is I did, but can I kill him without killing myself? Look at that. Lunge into him. He's not moving. <sighs> I had to be careful because a character is going to kill himself by swinging at him. 
Level 9. Let's hit him with this. And then, yeah, let's do some more work. Let's pack this, stack this up as best we can. Oh, okay. That is, uh, does it do, even do anything? This is a torch. I can't use a torch in here. Are you kidding me? All right. Wow, this guy's bugged. Awesome, man. You know, it's funny. Uh, uh, one of the things I read that was pretty prevalent in all the reviews was that there are lots of bugs. And I was like, wow, I haven't seen like any bugs. That's like the one thing I can't complain about. I've seen no bugs. Uh, and then, of course, the second hit record. Here we are. Bugs. <laughs> what is this thing right here? Ah, it opens up a door and it spawns a dude. Uh oh, should have done that. Nope. Okay, let's not step in any more of those things. Let's go, let's go. Come over here. No, no, come here, come here, come here. Guy's a level freaking nine. Like, this is just ridiculous. I don't know why it scales. Like, I guess because it anticipated me being level nine. But I'll tell you right now, that is bull. That's probably, that's probably what you're thinking. But I'm telling you, that's not correct. And here's why. Uh, I'm on the, I'm level four going on five. Like, I'm sorry, I, I just turned level five, right? Uh, and this is the fifth, the fifth run. And those previous ones were full runs. Oh, fourth or fifth run? Some, oh God, it was a fourth or fifth run. Oh, I gotta want to misquote that, actually. It might be the fourth. It might be the fourth. But still, it seems to be about a level per. Uh, okay, I have to do another one. Jesus Christ. It seems to be about a level per. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, so... We'll hold it, we'll hold it, we'll hold it. Just... Ah, there we go. No? Okay. Jeez. So I would need to be like nine runs in, or maybe eight runs in. Or maybe just keep on rewinding time and get more time, and get more time in a specific era. Uh, to... Jesus. In order to, uh... Fuck, I hate this game. Can't see this dude. He spawned a bunch of things. I don't have any bombs, so he's remoting me. Oh god, these things follow. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh god. Oh, he's got the zombie. You remember the one mob? I was like, yeah, these mobs are the worst. Yeah, so let's go ahead and spawn as much shit as we can. I have to beat so much stuff. I don't even want to do this, guys. I'm sorry. Just kill me. Just I want to show you the beginning, and that's it. I seriously, like, I can't even, I can't even get down with this game's mechanics and, like, like this kind of bullshit. Like, come on, dude. Like... How how much do you really want me to do here <laughs> to open this door? Uh, yeah, so you notice the gems are filling up. There is still like like five more gems. That's like five more waves of whatever this BS is. Or maybe it's a puzzle I just didn't figure out. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, I, yeah. So here, this is what I wanted to actually show you. This is Serendipity, the flying ghost whale. So here we are once more. Your star is about to extinguish, but its light could shine again. Except, ah, you don't have any celestial essence for me to revive you. This time, the pa your passing is unavoidable. That's actually not true. I do have, uh, celestial essence. I have quite a bit, actually. More than what she would require in order to turn back time. So, uh, or to revive me. Because it's like a hundred, if I recall. What would a god, what would, what kind of goddess of pleasant surprises would I be if I left it at that? No, there's something we can do. How would you like to bequeath some of your, bequeath some of your treasures to the next sword, of course, on these other returns. So, Celestial Fragments, 181. Uh, let's see, yep. So basically we go through and we could just say, let's go ahead and give my next person this. Uh, we'll buy this, it costs 75 to send that, yep. Basically like paying FedEx charges. That's it, shipping charges. Uh, 25, we get both of these out there if we want, but they're both the same slots, I wouldn't even bother, honestly. Save those things, because they do roll over. And then that's it. Ah, oh, with that, our, ex our exchange is complete. Your time has come. Your service to Ditto is over. Rest in peace, Sword of Ditto, and let us pray for the future. For now comes the time of Mormo. A hundred more years. A hundred more years of her rule. Monsters and all that stuff. And then... And lo, did the sword fall to the ground, dulled in light and blade. Like so many before and so many to come. Then, then, da, 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 da. And then we go to the next person 100 years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. Wake up, wake up. It's time for us to go. So this is a new person. Or rather, a cat. You can also be a frog and a number of other things. I've been all kinds of stuff.
So here we go. We come outside. This ghost, this ghost thing shows up. Dung beetle shows up, and he basically says, "Hey, we gotta get you some loot." So you gotta march your ass to the damn cemetery, and then you get your loot, and then you basically start over. So, yeah, look, there's the whale thing right there. That's where you go and say, "Hey, do you want to turn back time for me?" And it costs you a hundred, a hundred of these celestial fragments. Just slow. Look at look how slow it is. Like, and this is, I mean, oh, this is the, I, when I, here's what I thought. When I first started playing, you start out just like this. Every run, even the first one starts out just like this, right? It's a little bit more like hand-holding the first time around. But, here we go. It says, bro, this never gets any creepy. He says, same thing. This never gets any less creepy. Let's get our stuff and get out of here. And I thought, as I was running around as my normal person, my normal human person, I was like, oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is just going to take... You know, this, once I get my loot, then I'll be like faster and stronger and I'll feel more powerful. And it just didn't happen. Pick this up. Ta da! See, your character's gear looks different too, which is, I, th I thought that was kind of cute. You take this off from the grave, sort of the stone style, boom. And then he comes out and he says, okay, hey, guess what? You have, you have four days. Get to work. See, four days. Right there. <laughs> Euro gamer. Get it right. And then you start the whole process over. It's just not fun. I tried, man. I really try to like it. It's just, it's just not fun. And, 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 uh, and there's, unfortunately, there's so many mechanics in place that make the game not fun. It's, it's irreparable. They're not going to be able to fix this. So you could probably check back maybe with somebody that's, that's playing it, uh, or check the news and see what kind of changes will come down if you really want to play this particular game. But you know what? Just get an emulator <laughs> or, you know, go buy, go buy the NES classic or the SNES classic and just play uh, Legend of Zelda. Just just the original one. If you if you want that, uh, that flavor. Now, there's lots of games that have come out since then that have kind of captured that flavor pretty well. But this game definitely misses the mark by a long shot. So that's it. My name is Mike B. Thank you again, Hohan, for hooking hook me up with this game. Uh, I appreciate it. Don't worry about it if I don't like it. I, I appreciate the knowledge of the game because more than one person has actually asked me if I had played this game and I was like, yeah, I guess I played a little bit. It was okay, you know? And I decided to jump back in and check it out because it does look visually like a game that you should like, right? Yeah, you should like this game. So yes, my name is Mike B. This is Indie for Breakfast. The game is called The Swords of Ditto. It's available on Steam right now for $19.99. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.